I'm really having a blast, and it, I've never been so pleased with a with a city and people, friendly people, and and everybody seems to think, you know, that it's the best. Every day is the best day yet. My favorite part of the weekend, geez, I don't know. I guess meeting friends that I've been away from for quite a, for months and maybe a year or more, people that I had never met and uh, that I respect and, and admire. I can share a memory of my first convention, at, after which I said I'm never going to another one, but I was wrong. I went to a science fiction convention, and the people there were very strange. I mean, you know, they were costumers and gamers and stuff like that. And one, at one, at one uh, panel, uh, a, uh, a couple had brought their infant in, in an incubator because I guess they couldn't find a babysitter. I just, I was just so shocked, I couldn't believe it. And uh, it was a long way, it was in Fort Lauderdale, and we had to drive eight hours to get home. And I kept saying, I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to another convention, never. But then my first, I, <laughs> my first horror convention was the first one, I believe, in Nashville, and I had a wonderful time, wonderful time. This particular one, um, Rocky, Rocky Woods here again, and it's just a joy to see him again. And uh, there's just a lot of special people here. Hey, it's New Orleans. It's the best time to be here, too. Um, yes, I, I have a, a new book out with uh, Sandy DeLuca. De um, it's called Dangerous Dreams, and it's a poetry collection. Each poem is a collaboration, and I illustrated this book. We have, on the final Starkwood ballot, Vampires, Zombies, and Wanton Souls, which is another collection that, of poems that I wrote in response to Sandy's art, and it's all illustrated. Oh, I'd say this, that would be a very good thing to consider. Um, I used to go to World Horror Cons, and I realized I, ha I wasn't a member of HWA, and I thought, well, why not, why shouldn't I be? You know, everybody else that I like is, and everybody that I respect. And it's a great bunch of people. Now I'd like to talk about raising poetry awareness. This idea came about because of fewer members voting on the poetry category preliminary ballot. Thus, Linda Addison and I volunteered to work on a plan that would raise poetry awareness. To that goal, we have found an editor and assistant. Sandy DeLuca is the editor, and Max Booth III is, the, is her assistant. They are. Um, they have been working on a separate page just for dark poetry at our site. Angel will be working on, it has already completed this and it's all set up. And it's already got a column on it, an old column from the dark poets column. With, uh, it's on collaborations, on poetry collaborations. Um, it's going to have, it has poetry on it too by members. We want to promote other, we want to invite other members to submit poetry for this page, and it will be updated, I believe, every month. So it's, it's in place, and it's on its way. And another thing, we'll be announcing these things on our Facebook page when we have special events or things going on with um, material that is posted.